Hey guys, welcome to Living in New Hampshire. My name's Cody and I'm a local real estate agent with EXP. In today's video, we're gonna cover what to expect when living in Lebanon, New Hampshire. Located along the Vermont border within Grafton County, 58 miles northwest of Concord and 6 miles south of Hanover. Lebanon is the only city in the region home to almost 14,300 residents, a number that has grown by nearly 1,150 since 2010. Lebanon is part of what's called the Upper Valley, which is a number of communities that run along the Connecticut River. While most of this region is quite rural, White River Junction and Hanover are the two primary downtown areas for restaurants and bars. Despite being much quieter, the Lebanon Opera House is a fun local attraction as well as the farmers markets during the warmer months. Unfortunately, with only 194 sunny days each year, Lebanon ranks slightly below the U.S. average. Combined with almost 140 days of precipitation and just over five and a half feet of annual snowfall, no surprise that a large percentage of residents love the outdoors. With a number of mountains, rivers, and lakes nearby, the year-round scenery attracts those from all over the state. Over the past year, the state's median home value rose by more than 22 percent, resulting in an average price of almost 400000 Despite the massive increase, Lebanon still remains relatively affordable with a median home price of $330,000. Less than half the cost to purchase a home in the neighboring town of Hanover. Considering the number of outdoor activities and affordable home prices, it's no surprise that the largest percentage of Lebanon's population is between the ages of 25 to 44 with a median age of 39.4 years. Even though remote work has become a reality for most people in the past year, two of the state's largest employers are located in Lebanon. Both Dartmouth Hitchcock Medical Center and Dartmouth College employ nearly 14,000 people combined. In addition to a number of large manufacturing companies, this results in a median household income of $67,698 per year. There is, however, one area that Lebanon falls short, and that's the lack of affordable rentals. With a local university and young demographic, it's not surprising that the rental demand is quite high. This has caused rental prices to skyrocket to levels that may be hard to justify. Now in 2021, the median cost for a one-bedroom apartment apartment is $2,175 per month. Combine that with low inventory and it might make you reconsider moving to Lebanon unless you plan on purchasing a home. Out of the nearly 6,200 households in the city, 24.2% have children under the age of 18 living there. This number continues to grow as many past residents decide to move back to the city to raise a family. Seeing as the Lebanon School District ranks as the seventh best in the entire state, enrolling just over 1,600 students in grades PK through 12 with a student to teacher ratio of 10 to 1. While the city's crime rate ranks as the second highest in the region just behind Hartford, Vermont, it still remains 1.7 times lower than the U.S. average. And in the last five years, Lebanon has seen a decrease in both violent and property crime. So if you're looking for a laid-back lifestyle with close proximity to a number of outdoor activities, then Lebanon may be a place to consider. And that wraps up the video, guys, of what to expect when living in Lebanon, New Hampshire. I hope you enjoyed this one, and if you did, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below. And as always, if you're thinking thinking about moving to New Hampshire or you just have any questions, I'll leave my contact info in the description below. Thanks for watching.